Welcome back to the Home Lab and what I want to talk to you about today is a really interesting physics effect called the Brazil nut effect. So I noticed this really weird and unusual effect every time we have breakfast in the morning and you might have done too. So uh, Barry likes his cereal in the morning, he calls it muesli even though it isn't muesli and um, he's noticed something that if I open a fairly new packet of cereal and shake it um, the chocolate pieces and the fruit pieces that he particularly enjoys always seem to end up at the top but the older the packet gets and the more it's been shaken the less and less uh, pieces come out that he really likes and he's left only with the sort of boring cereal and this effect of uh, pieces inside a cereal rising to the top when you shake it so you're going to shake it um, every time you serve it and then pour those off the top more commonly to begin with this is known as the Brazil nut effect. So before we demonstrate this with Brazil nuts, um, let's just have a look at the breakfast cereal and do a quick experiment. So uh, here it is as it comes out of the box. And what I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a shake. Now, I don't know if it's, it's obvious uh, from what you can see on the camera there, uh, but what's interesting is the chocolate pieces have sort of risen up a little bit. But interestingly enough, all the large lumps now seem to be at the top and all the smaller sort of powder and dust is at the bottom. And uh, what's going on here is key to explaining the Brazil nut effect. Right, so let's do an experiment and uh, you won't believe how long I've been waiting to make this video. I bought all the bits for it ages ago and the proof of that is September 2019. These pine nuts uh, uh, were best before. Anyway, they look okay to me. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get some smaller nuts, um, cut the top off and pour them into a container. There we go. And the plan is, as you know, to try and mix all of these up and to see what happens. So we'll stick some Brazil nuts in. I hope these are still edible. I'm sure they are. OK, in go a few Brazil nuts. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to shake the container. Um, I might add some more nuts as well to see what happens and see whether we can get a really good homogeneous, a really good uh, even throughout mix or whether the Brazil nuts decide to do something different. OK, so we've got our pine nuts, which are small and Brazil nuts, which are large in here. Um, I'll just try and mix them up a little bit uh, with a spoon. So that's not shaking, that's sort of stirring them. Um, so even then it's quite tricky to do, but I, I think if you can see it, I think you'll agree that the Brazil nuts are, well, some of them are buried anyway. So let's put the lid on now. Better put that on tightly and give it a shake and see what happens. OK, so we've got our pine nut small and Brazil nut large uh, mix in here. So let's give it a bit of a shake. And uh, <laughs> that's better than I even thought. Um, that's really convincing. There are some other things that go on if you shake it in different ways, but we won't get into that today. But I hope you can see and I'll take a photograph. The Brazil nuts have nearly all landed on the top of the mixture and the pine nuts are now at the bottom. OK, so that worked really rather nicely and the Brazil nuts have actually separated. Um, so I'll try and attempt an explanation. It's quite interesting that um, the explanation of this effect is not really fully understood. Um, I did say there are a number of things that happen, but I'm going to go for the simplest, which was the sort of up and down shaking. That when you shake it up and down, what happens is that the Brazil nuts and the pine nuts, the smaller ones, rise. But if you can imagine the pine nuts being a bit like sand, that if there's a gap between the bottom of a large Brazil nut 
and the pine nuts, um, then that gap is filled by the smallest object. Um, they behave like sand filling the gaps. Then, of course, when the, uh, the Brazil nuts land, um, that gap isn't there, so they're slightly higher. Shake it again, OK? And if the Brazil nuts ever rise more than the smaller ones, the smaller ones will roll to fill in the gap and the large Brazil nut will land yet again higher. And if this process continues, the smaller objects go down in the mixture and the larger objects, rather counterintuitively, end up on the top. So let's quickly look at industrial applications of this and particularly the problems that the Brazil nut effect causes. So if you're making cereals and it's got different size particles in it, when you shake the cereals on the machine that's manufacturing it, uh, in the containers, on the transport, in your car getting home, that lovely homogeneous mix, even mix that you wanted in your cereal bowl, is not going to happen because what's happened is the cereal will have, because of the Brazil nut effect, separated out in the packet. So I do hope you enjoyed that brief explanation of the Brazil nut effect and it's something you can safely try at home of course. Um, if you read about it, it is actually rather more complex. There are other things that happen due to the friction on the side of the container. But I've shown you at least one mechanism and I was actually amazed by just how well that's worked. Anyway, um, these Brazil nuts uh, from 2019 and it's uh, uh, 2022 now, but I'm sure they'll be fine to eat. I'll be making um, another video soon. Do stay to the end because I always put the links in there and like and subscribe if you want to. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.